Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at an introduction to matrices so we can answer questions from exercise 6a. So what is a matrix? Well a matrix effectively is just a rectangular grid of numbers that we can do lots of things with and they're really important for real life applications for example in computer science um, but we're just going to look at what they are and what we can do with them for the, for the short term. So this one here, this one here is a grid of numbers uh, with a set of brackets around them um, and it forms a rectangle. So this, all four of these here are what we call matrices. Now the first little bit of information you need to know about these matrices is how we describe the size of the matrix or the dimensions of the matrix. The way that we describe the dimensions of the matrix is we first look at how many rows um, there are in the matrix and then how many columns there are in the matrix. Um, we generally give capital letters to these matrices um, rather than just small letters when we use it in algebra. So for the first matrix here, the size of this matrix is going to be a 2, because it has two rows, 1 and then 2, and it has two columns. So we say that this matrix here is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now this is going to become uh, useful later on, maybe in the next video, um, to see why it's important that we know and how to describe the size of a matrix. This matrix here is a 2 by 2. So we look at how many rows it has first, and then how many columns it has second. So in the second one here, it has one row and three columns. So this matrix here is a 1 by 3 matrix. Now in this video here we're going to look at adding matrices together and you're right in thinking we can only add matrices if they're the same size or have the same dimensions. The second one, the third one here has two rows and one column so it's described as a two by one matrix. And the last one here has three rows and two columns so we describe it as a three by two matrix. The first one up here we describe as a square matrix for obvious reason that it has the same amount of rows as it has columns. So what can we do with these matrices then? So what we're going to look at in this video here is just the simple process of adding and subtracting two matrices. And as I said before, the only way that you can add and subtract two matrices, two or more matrices, is if they are the same dimensions. So if this one here is a two by two, this one here is a 2 by 2 and our answer here is going to be a 2 by 2 as well. And it's a simple process of just adding together the different elements that are in the same position effectively. So adding together the top left two values we get 1, adding together the top right two values we get 3, adding together the bottom left values we get 5 and adding together the bottom right values we get 6. So that's, it's really just as easy as that. It's make sure you add the same uh, positions together or subtract the same positions um, if it's a subtract question. Just like this one here is. So we've got um, two matrices that are exactly the same size and our answer is going to be that same size as well. Now make sure when you do this that if there are any negatives in the second matrix that you do the double negative which is addition. Um, so don't, don't forget about that. So one takeaway zero is one. Looking at the top right hand cells now, this is um, minus five. The middle left hand cells now, that's three. The middle right cells now, that's uh, seven. Because we're going to do two takeaway minus five. So that makes it a positive five. So two plus five is seven. The bottom left hand cells, that's one minus minus three. That's four. And the bottom right hand cells, that's 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So it's just as straightforward as that. Now multiplication, when we get onto it, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Um, addition and subtraction are effectively the, the two easy operations. So now we come on to how may they involve a problem solving type question um, in these sorts of um, matrix questions. So we're given two, no, three matrices. And inside each of the matrix, there's one value that we don't know. With the first matrix, we've got 2, 3, 1, A that we don't know. B minus 1, 2, 4 is the second matrix. 
and 3yx3 is the value of the third matrix. So as I said before, all matrices are generally defined by capital letters. That just distinguishes it from lowercase letters where lowercase letters are just single variables. Uppercase letters here generally define matrices. And the question here um, is given that a plus b equals c, find the value of a, b, x and y. So let's go ahead and add these two matrices together, a and b, and the answer to this will give us c. Now if we want to find the value for b, what we've got to think of is the top left hand values on the first two must add together to make the top left hand value on the third matrix. So therefore 2 plus b must equal 3, so b is obviously 1. And we can do the same for each of the different positions on these matrices uh, to find the missing letters. So 3 take away 1 is y, so y is 2. The bottom left hand cells 1 plus 2 is x, so x must be 3. And bottom right a plus 4 is 3, so a must therefore be minus 1. OK. All right. So as well as uh, finding missing letters within matrices, we can also times matrices by single values or by a scalar multiple. So, for example, if we had uh, this matrix here was 1, 2, minus 1, 0. Generally, that's how we read a matrix. We go across as you would reading a paragraph of text. Um, find the value of 2a. Now, all that's... We could do it in two different ways here. We can either multiply by 2 or we can add together A together twice by itself. In this case, here, it's probably easier to just double each of the values inside the matrix. So it's going to be 2, 4, minus 2 and 0. So it's really easy to multiply a matrix by a number. All you effectively do is multiply all of the cells in that matrix by the number and that's that's all you need to do. Uh, you can also half all of the values inside a matrix by working out what a half of the matrix is, half B in this case. So half all of the cells inside the matrix. And we get 3, 0, minus 2. So you can double matrices, triple matrices, half matrices, take a third of a matrix, etc, etc. In the next video, we're going to look at how we multiply two matrices together. Another question might be um, involving both of these operations of timesing a matrix and working out a missing letter inside a matrix. But notice here how it's a plus 2b equals c, and we've got to find the values of a, b, and c. OK, so looking at the top left hand cells, we've got to do the A matrix plus 2 times the B matrix to give us the value of the C matrix. So it's A plus 2 lots of B, or 2 lots of 1 equals C, which is 6 on the top left hand value. So A must therefore be 4. Um, B is going to be calculated by looking at the top right hand cells. So it's 0 plus 2 times B because that's what it says to do in the question, gives us 6, so 2b equals 6, so therefore b equals 3, and it looks like the bottom left-hand cell sorts itself out, the bottom right-hand cell is what we need to look at next, so it's going to be 2 times, 2 add, 2 lots of 3 will equal c, so 2 add 6 equals c, so c must equal 8. Right then, so that's what a matrix is. It's a rectangular grid of numbers. Um, each value inside that grid will will have a value, um, and we can we've seen here how we add and subtract matrices together. So here's a couple of questions for you to practice on. Pause the video and try these two out. All right then, so hopefully they were pretty straightforward. The way we add matrices is to add the corresponding cells together. So here we're going to get 6, 0, 0, um, 1. So that's the answer to that question there.
Question 6 here is given that we have a calculation, find the value of A, B, C and D. We're looking at the top left hand cells. We've got A minus 1 equals 5. So therefore A must equal B, must equal 6. Now looking at the top right hand values, 2 minus C equals 0. So therefore C must equal 2. Looking at the bottom left hand cells now. Minus 1 minus D equals 0. So D must therefore equal minus 1. And looking at the bottom right hand cells in each of these matrices, B minus minus 2 equals 5. So this is effectively saying B plus 2 equals 5. So therefore B is equal to 3. Alright then, so that's a basic introduction to matrices um, and how we add and subtract matrices one from another. Alright then, thanks very much for watching, have a go at plenty of practice from exercise 6a.